guys welcome back to expo hub youtube channel today we are going to continue to learn wait for form task resume there is a very important information that you must know in the wait for form task and resume we create a variable called task action if you see at the background this is the wait for form task and resume activity and here you have a variable called task action okay so this variable is very very important and how to use that we are going to learn in this video so let's get started so before we get started let me tell you anyone who is very new to this video who is not aware of the entire action center please do watch my previous videos where i have already demonstrated what is this example is for okay so please do watch them and then you can jump on to this particular video if you are already aware of all these activities then you can definitely watch it now with this wait for form task and resume okay so the variable that we have created is task action if you check the variable type the variable type is a string type okay so task action what does mean by task action so when you have created a form when you have created this form open this form designer okay open this form designer so in our example we are asking the user to provi provide the reimbursement amount and then how much amount will be approved so once somebody clicks on approve so this is a action taken by the approver right he has clicked on this approve the moment he clicks on the approve this becomes the task action let's say i am going to put another button called reject okay so let me show you how do you do this and this is very very useful i am going to drag and drop a button from here and i am going to give it a name called reject okay here the action will be submit only click reset form so action will be submit action but again that label is reject and if you go to the field key automatically it has picked as reject let's say i am going to say uh, rejected i am going to type a property name hit on save same way you can also change it for the approve click on this approve button okay so approve and in the field key so all these display names you can change it as you need as per your form design okay and select the kind of action it should do approve and in the field key here i am going to say property name as approved so if it is written submit or anything you can always change it okay so i have made the changes hit on save so what would happen now if i run this particular automation it's going to show me a two different option one is approve and reject so let's see how we can utilize it okay so this is the wait for form task and resume and this particular activity has a variable called task action so what i'm going to do i will use a message box below this and here i am going to simply write task action i want to see what is the output that comes to this particular variable simple so i have written task action and i'm going to run this automation and try to see what output comes in the task action this is very very important for you to understand because based on that you can take a lot many decisions so it has asked me enter the amount you would like to reimburse let me say 2500 click on okay so in the previous video you have seen how to use the task catalog okay i have shown you that that is also very important so now it is wait for form task and resume so we have to go back to the actions ui path actions and here go to unassigned refresh it or click on it once again so this is the activity which has come let me assign it to self and move to pending click on this and i'm going to say i'm going to approve um, let's say i'm not going to approve for anything okay because this is a false request i'm going to say approved amount is zero and i'm going to hit on reject and complete so what would happen when i select reject first of all if you go to the completed tab scroll to the bottom so this one please approve the uh, so this is the request where somebody has requested for 2500 and i have said zero and reject now if you see on the top line it is saying reject okay let's go back to the studio the studio is you know stopped so we need to hit on resume 
we'll see what is the task action output is coming okay so the output has come as rejected rejected look at the spelling rejected it has come okay so it is showing me rejected so now the task action let me delete one of the message box so task action is saying rejected so from where this rejected uh, word has come if you click on this open form designer once again and this is the button he had clicked right so if you click on this highlight on this and click on the settings signal to edit so if you click on the field key whatever you have written in the field key based on that the output is coming okay rejected now if i hit on submit uh, one second let me cancel this now look at the approve button okay i'm opening the edit button and here it is saying approved approved okay so whatever you have written under the field key the same output is going to come so what we can do with this rakesh why we are learning this why are we learning this reason being with this approved and rejected word you can use a if statement you can use a switch activity and you can take an action if rejected then drop an email if approved drop an email so that for that there is a different email for approved there is a different email so whatever action you want to take based on the approval and rejection rejected status right for that we need to know how to manipulate this particular variable so you got to know this task action output for example if i run it now and click on approve the output will say approved so based on that i can use a if statement so i'm not going to uh, show the entire flow but you have understood right so based on this i can use the task action okay then i can or i can use a switch activity if not if or switch whatever is relevant okay i can use a switch activity and here i can say task action is our variable okay and with the variable there are two different things um, which are linked so this switch ensure that type argument should be selected as string why i am selecting type argument as string be because if you go to the variable the task action is a string type okay so based on that um, you can take a decision so the default case let's say if it is approved i want to send out an email um, so i am not doing any email related activity but i'm just going to show you the flow okay the request has been approved has been approved so anything like that so you can put a instead of message box you will be using uh, entire email you know you want to send out an email right so all those activities you can apply depending on the need the same way you can create another case for rejected okay ensure your spelling and everything is exactly the same how it is written okay and here also you can take a message box and say it was rejected so whatever you want so based on this this is going to work so let me run it once so that you understand the usability of this task action variable that you are creating on the top so in a project it is very necessary to drop an email and let the user know let's say somebody is applying for 18000 rupees his travel expense okay so it has went let us go to unassigned click on this assign it to self go to pending and i'm going to approve let's say i'm going to approve 10000 for this guy okay and i'm hit on approve so what would happen whatever we have clicked based on that the workflow will take a decision okay so let's hit on resume okay i have already created a video how you can publish it and automatically run so that you don't have to resume it okay so you can see the output has come as approved and the request so based on our switch activity now it is saying the request has been approved so you can do lot many things with this if you know how this variable works all right so this video is all about that how to utilize the 
task action how do you take a decision based on the task action output okay so i am pretty sure you must have understood this and this could be very very useful thank you so much guys for watching we are going to come up with more interesting and useful topics for you thank you please do subscribe to our channel and please do like the contents that you're watching on our channel and please do share with your friends thank you so much we'll come up come back with another new video bye bye